Okay guys, right, welcome to today's video. I've got 10 facts about cycling in London because I'm gonna go for a bike ride around central London. I'm currently stood in Regent's Park, probably the most advantageous point on my list, which is you don't actually need to own a bike to cycle in London. You can hire the Transport for London bikes and I am with these three wallies. I'm with my family and we are gonna hire today TFL bikes and cycle through London. Let's go. Do we want a day pass? What does the day pass give you? Okay, unfortunately there's only three bikes. What um what bike do you want? Yeah. To put the code in. So these are facts that I've made up on the train here. Number one, the weather will always be bad. Today, it has been raining all morning. The roads are terrible. So the infrastructure within London is great, but it's made for cars prior to that horse and carriage. So you've got, look, you've got your bell and then you've got your gears. How'd you change gear? Oh, okay, like that. That then leads me on to point number four, which are buses are terrifying. When you're bike versus bus. Is this as low as the seat goes? No, look, you can put the seat down. Come off. Right, get off the bike. <laughs> They're transport for London bikes that you can hire. Doing so keeps you fit. Big positive, big tick. As long as you can touch the floor when you stop. <laughs> it's almost always better than public transport, unless you refer back to point number one. The only time public transport is better than cycling around London is when it's pouring down. There is a fantastic cycling infrastructure within London. When you do cycle in London, you've got to bear in mind that these roads made for horse and cart originally have also had cycle lanes squeezed onto them. So yeah, you do come up against red buses quite a lot. Other cyclists on London roads, I remember this from back in the day. I say I'm a newbie cyclist. I haven't ridden since I was a teenager, which is one of the reasons I'm cycling in central London. I used to live in Bermondsey, South East London, not too far from London Bridge. So I used to come up to Regent's Park, Hyde Park, all the London parks quite often. I used to cycle through London, London traffic weaving in and out because it was a lot quicker and cheaper than using London transport. I'm not taking my hand off. <laughs> <laughs> Cycling is by far the cheapest method to get around London. There is an infrastructure in place in the form of what we used to call Boris bikes. I think they're now called Santander bikes. Um, but they're transport for London bikes that you can hire and you can ride around London. Having said that, it is also the fastest way. I've mentioned the slower cyclists, but when you are sat in a car in London traffic, cycling is so much quicker. So I don't have a bike because they only had three at that station. So we've got to leg it to the next station. <laughs> They're cycling, I'm running. Right. Oh my God. Okay, okay. So even though that last station gave me the option to hire four bikes, it's saying that my limit has reached. I can't hire any more than three bikes. Oh. Right, this is a pain in the bum. So I've got here, I found bikes, loads of them. There's like 50 but it's, it's saying my card has reached its maximum. I can only hire three bikes. So the only thing I can think of is you put those bikes back, I get this one of these out, and then you get them out, you, you use the code again, because we've got unlimited 30 minutes. Okay, it looks like it's allowed me to do it. That's worked. Three, three, two. Done. <laughs> this bike has no top speed because I can't pedal. Oh, my cadence is like 120. I've managed to traverse the crazy roads. I don't know if you know, but there is a outer circle for Regent's Park. Regent's Park is a real cycling, cyclist dream. Flat as a pancake, outer circle. For Regent's Park, there's an inner one as well. So there's one on the outside, it's about 4.7K. I'm back, guys. I'm back. All these bikes, I've gone. Oh my God. You need to stump it back. Hang on, how'd you put it back? Oh yeah, did that time. There we go. There's seven bikes. Seven. We're on the bikes. Four of us now. Finally, it's only taken an hour to get <laughs> to get us mobilised. Going around Regent's Park, so we're making our way to Hyde Park. So we're going to be cycling through the back streets of London to Hyde Park. And then the plan is, after Hyde Park, we're going to cycle around Hyde Park. We're going to make our way to Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, down the embankment to the Tower of London. So yeah, a bit of a fun ride, if they can keep up. Come on, guys. 
These bike stations are plentiful. There's so many. That woman didn't even look. Go. You go faster than me. Just get over the road, that's it. Go, 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 Scarly. Keep going, Mad. Straight down to the next lights. Keep going, Scarly. Overtake me. Next lights, that's it. That's it. Oh, why not? What are you thinking so far? Are you enjoying it? <laughs> yeah. The... <coughs> go, Mad. Go, girls, go. You enjoying it? Yeah. It's fun. This is fun on Sunday. This is a good time. To... No, this would be chaos during the week. Oh, look. Look, guys, there's another one. Should we do a swap over? Doing this swap over, I'm assuming, gives us a saving because we, we get 30 minutes for free, unlimited, all day, and then we have to pay £1.65 for every 30 minutes we go over that. There you go. Boom. Nice. Oh yeah. You can literally go from any station to station and just get unlimited bikes. That's really good. I never thought of it like that. I thought you'd just get one bike and it would last all day. Yeah, so did I. We've got our code. So one triple two one, mad. All right, that's easy. I'm, I mean, mega impressed with this. And we've got to get over there. All right, ready? Go. That's the way to do it, that one. Whoa. Right, main road. Okay, right, now we're in Hyde Park. I'm gonna say now, this is a very civilised way of getting around central London. I am done with the tube. If I ever come to London again, as long as it's not raining, I don't think it's gonna be much fun in the rain, but I am doing this. This is definitely easier than, than driving. Mum got right in the way of all them cyclists then. <laughs> Did mum do that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have an accident. <laughs> so we've decided to put the bikes back again. We've been, <laughs> we keep them for half an hour, dump them at a, a station that we're passing. We're gonna get a coffee. If you drop them off within 30 minutes, or 29 minutes and 59 seconds, then you don't get charged for the additional 30 minutes. And even though it's £1.69 or £1.65, 165. We're right by the Serpentine in Hyde Park on a summer's day. <laughs> Quick update. How do we find the bike, Mad? Hard work. Hard work. No, I'm it? really enjoying it. Is it good? Yeah. Carly? I like it. It's just my bum keeps slipping everywhere. Okay. I've had the same bike every time. With a day pass on a Sunday, we've used a code as well, but we're able to have 30 minutes unlimited use for 30 minutes as many times as we want. You could get a bike, get off at a station, get a bike, cycle it to wherever you're going. I could get pretty far in 30 minutes on a bike. The only, the only downside is you can't really get any serious speed up because the gears, well, if you're not used to cycling in London, it is a nervy experience, but you've done really well. All three of you have done really well. She's Would never cycled in a road before. She's only always been a child and done it on the pavement. Yeah, so I'm going to get loads of comments now about why I'm taking my daughters onto London roads. <laughs> We're fine. Okay. It, it's a Sunday. There's next to no cars. So the next stop is Buckingham Palace, where we're going to meet the king and take a selfie. The so she's eating Oreos. So a mouthful of Oreos. What did you say? Oh. We're going to go and meet the beef eaters. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, oh, she's trying to race me. She's trying to race me. Oh, oh, she's beating me. She's too fast. Too powerful. Also, I'm at 150 cadence. So these are the gears here. That's two. That's one. Oh, and that's, that's top gear. Three. <laughs> You're gonna crash! She's too good, she's too good for me guys. She's just too good. So we've got the uh, cycle path pretty much the whole way. There she goes. <laughs> she sees me coming. And then put down, top watts, I'm in your draft. I'm in your draft. Top watts. Oh, why can't you beat me? <laughs> she's going for it again. My oldest is about as competitive as someone who's not competitive. This one, on the other hand, has to be at the front. So there is a bell. I don't know if I can do it one-handed.
I was messing about. Whee! Okay, we're about to go on to the main road now. This, this is a cycle path. This here in the middle. This is a cycle path. So all of this here, and then all the way across, through up through there, is all cycle path. It's just too, yeah, it's too many pedestrians. Oh, people don't move out of the way. Right? No it's, one moves. No, no one moves. Okay, guys, we're still on the bikes and we are about to hit Buckingham Palace. Buck House. Look at that. Beautiful day. Amazing to get to do this. Should we go back right round again? Let's go back round. Literally, yeah. Tracy just said, this is good. You can no cars here. You can go wherever you want. You can. There's no cars. All closed. That's it. All right, stand in front of them. We'll have to do a set. I don't know how we're going to do it. Yeah, the king's home. Yeah, that's what the flag means. We talked about that the other yeah. day, didn't we? Yeah. We're going to go and meet him in a minute. Hi. Okay, the girls want to do the touristy thing by looking at the soldiers, so we're going to go over to the front of Buckingham Palace. I don't know where they've gone. I've lost them. I've lost them. Are we looking at the soldier? We need to go, we're going to go to Parliament now. We need to swap the bikes, guys. It is, it's really good for cycling with so many closed roads. Good thing is now, even if the roads are open, we've got uh, cycle paths all the way from here to Tower. Yeah. I lived in London until I was 18, and not once have I ever stood outside the gates of Buckingham Palace. That's the first time I've ever done that. I have stood there. Oh, her pedals fell off. Oh, what? Not yours. Oh. <laughs> we thought that. <laughs> Tracy just shouted, oh, her pedal's fallen off. That's someone else's pedal. Someone's crankshaft has fallen off. I don't even know if it is a crankshaft. I have no idea. I'm making it sound as if I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I did, well, only because you shouted it. Thought we was a bike down. We'd have had to have left, left her. We're not the, we're not the Royal Marines. We need to go over there. Tell me when, I can't see it. got to give him a right whack. Well done. So you have to wait one minute between dropping a bike off and getting it immediately back out again. So we're just waiting a minute by the London Eye. So we're just on the Thames now and we're going to go all the way down the cycle super highway. I'm looking forward to this. This has always been something I've wanted to do. This is the best idea ever. What is? The super highway? No, I'm doing this. Getting the Boris bikes. Yeah. Getting the TFL Santander bikes. Aren't you pleased I came up with this idea? Yeah. To be fair, this was Tracy's idea. This is a great idea. What a lovely way to spend a summer Sunday, listening to Big Ben chime as we cycle along the Thames past the London Eye. The only thing you've got to watch out for on these footpaths, cars aren't really the problem. Cars haven't been the problem all day. It's people just walking out in front of you. Yeah. And... Uh, and then you have the Deliveroo guys zooming past, zooming past like, lu fully electric like lunatics. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything worse than being in one of them tuk-tuks. You're looking very summery today. It is summer. You literally look like you were born to do this. Go, go, go. Quick, before I get hit. You've been told off. I didn't ding her. No, you got, she got told off for digging someone, didn't even do the dinging. It was a delivery guy. The pavement, and then someone was yeah, going but it wasn't crazy you, it doesn't matter. Me. Right, come on. Oh my God, he'll start. Oh. What's that? It's a laser. It's Is it? I can't see my laser. Man's got a green laser coming at the front of her bike. <laughs> <laughs> 
ding dong bells. Oh, uphill. We're going uphill. I'm actually out of breath then. I was. Okay, right, we've arrived at the Tower of London. All four of us safely. Like they're literally past the point of caring about a camera. So yeah, we've arrived at the tower safely. Um, this is the end of our tour. I don't know how far we've done. Regent's Park to Hyde Park to Buckingham Palace to Trafalgar, not, not Trafalgar Square, Parliament Square, um, Houses of Parliament, Big Ben, and then all the way, all the way along the uh, super highway to the tower. So what's that, about what's that? eight, nine miles? with a bit of weaving involved. That was really good. How did you feel about the bike, quickly? Oh, I, I don't want to stop, it I really fun. enjoyed it. You want it to keep going? Fun, yeah. but, but I'm just tired. You're tired, okay. <laughs> <She> was tired. <laughs> it was fun, but she's tired. Matt, Tracy wants to keep going. Scarly, final word? Good. Good? Just good. Done. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. That was a really, really good day. I recommend this to anybody that's looking to do something different keep fit, get your heart rate up, enjoy a summer's day in London. in London. Sightseeing in London, this is the way to go. Yeah. Forget rickshaws, forget black cabs, forget the London Underground, forget the car, leave the car at home, get a Boris bike or a TFL Santander bike. Really, really good. Thanks for watching.